good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with all of you a few messages given to Luz de Maria. The Antichrist has knocked at the door of human, and his wickedness has been accepted. Therefore, please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we are heading closer and closer to the end of times. We hope that by spreading these messages across the ends of the world, more people, through these messages and warnings given by heaven, with the help of all our prayers, fasting, and sacrifices, in the hope for the conversion of sinners, to convert and come back to Christ before it is too late, all for the betterment and salvation for all of these souls, and all to the glory and delight of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of these messages, as He is all-powerful, all-omnipotent, just as He is consubstantial with God the Father and the Son. And with a great act of trust and love to the Holy Spirit, that He may give us the grace to discern these messages from heaven, join me and say, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations, but most of all, to discern these messages, that we may always differentiate the truth from deception and always glorify You through all of our works and actions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Message from Our Lady starts now. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, people of my Most Beloved Son, I love you. I hold you in my maternal heart, so that in my heart you might adore the Most Holy Trinity and give thanks for infinite divine mercy. People of my Son, this is the time for you to understand that your works and actions must be directed towards the good, setting aside spiritual mediocrity. At this time, human beings want to draw attention to their inner selves in order to stand out, without asking themselves or worrying whether excelling personally elevates them above their brothers and sisters, sometimes leaving them lying on the ground. As a mother, I call you to conversion and not to personal interests, for the Antichrist and his legions have knocked at the door of humanity and his wickedness has been accepted by the people of my Divine Son. You already feel crisis. You are already living in crisis. You have been through crises and emerged from them. But this crisis will not be overcome until my Divine Son intervenes. All creation has been changed by the hand of man, just as the human heart has changed. This is a time of the heightened influence of the evil one over a humanity that has been altered, that is dissatisfied, incomprehensible, estranged from God, and unified in its thinking so as to blaspheme against the Most Holy Trinity and against this Mother of Humanity. My children, you are being unified in your thinking by means of the different electronic media used by the great powers and which you use in order to communicate. Pay attention, my children. World domination is upon humanity, exerting such a negative influence upon the minds of all that you will come to work and behave very basely as human beings. People of my Son, entrust yourselves to my Divine Son. Invite Him to remain with you in all the works or actions of your daily lives. In this way, you will remain protected by the Most Holy Trinity, by the Heavenly Legions, and by this mother, the works and deeds of my son's people must continually tend towards the good in order to hinder negative thoughts. Because at this moment, human beings are continually beset by negative thoughts that are being sent to them and which are not the fruit of human will. However, 
since humanity is opposed to my son and is embracing what is worldly, you are easy prey for evil, which is continually tempting you. To free yourselves from temptation, you must do good, think good, want good for yourselves and your brothers and sisters. Do not permit thoughts contrary to fraternity, contrary to love, to self-giving, to adoration towards the Most Holy Trinity, to devotion towards all the heavenly choirs, and to veneration towards this mother. Remember, my children, you must subject yourselves to my son, and must continually ask him for the blood and water that flowed from his open side on the cross to be poured out upon you, in order that you would be bearers of good, and so that the evil one with his wiles would not penetrate within you. Beloved people of my son, walk rapidly towards him. Humanity is hanging by a thread, and you must save your souls. Save your souls, for you will be severely tested by those who wish to display the power of their weaponry over all humanity. Nonetheless, do not fear, my children. My son will not give you stones for bread. My son will bring down manna from heaven to sustain his children. Work and act within the good, and you will receive the goodness and divine blessings necessary for you not to succumb when facing trials. I love you, my children. I cover you with my maternal mantle. I cover you with my love. Give me your hand. Do not fear. I am my son's disciple, and I want you to be so as well. I bless you with my love. I bless you with my yes to God. Mother Mary, Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Brothers and sisters, our Blessed Mother gives us another lesson of love and humility. Being part of humanity, we are invited to conversion in order to save our soul. It is painful to say it, but evil has taken possession of humanity because the human race has allowed it to enter all areas of human life. The Most Holy Trinity and our Blessed Mother are set aside. And now the existence and protection of the holy angels are considered a myth. Our Mother calls us to turn our gaze and to be aware of crisis on a global level, of the tensions that exist between countries at war, and the involvement of other countries in armed conflicts, endangering humanity. The encouragement that our Mother gives us is her assurance of the intervention of our Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of tribulation, and she warns us to fight against the unification of thought or the mass formation of a way of thinking, working, and behaving on which everyone will agree. We have free will and it seems that the goal is to supplant it. Let us unite in prayer and in constant union with our Lord Jesus Christ, inviting Him to remain with us at all times. In this way, we will be drawing good to ourselves and to our brothers and sisters. Amen.